I really like this watch and the reason is I put a lot of effort into it. Um, it's a uh, Swiss ETA 2472 movement and when I bought it, it was uh, old and beat up at about $25. The band was $8 from China um, and the watch was 25 Swiss francs actually, so 20 Twenty-seven dollars or something, um, and there, there, it had a dial on it. But I removed the dial and turned it into a kind of showpiece of the movement. So, and then I loomed the dial, so you can see those white dots. So that's those are kind of the indices, and um, and then the other thing that I did that's kind of cool is. Um, Well, first of all, it was complicated to get rid of the dial because there's a there's a on on top of the center brass gear, you can see there's a kind of little triangular washer that's kind of flat, thin. You can see the tip of it there. Um so that washer normally backs up against the back of the dial and then it holds that that gear which is the hour hand gear down from popping up so you need the dial to hold that down on this movement so without the dial i had to do some restacking of the hands so the the second hand uh attaches aggressively to the uh the post that it's on and that post is anchored behind the the, the main plate of the inside the movement so the second hand can hold everything together, but I had to add a little washer uh, underneath the second hand, which I think you can see. See that washer? So I had to add that on top of the minute hands under the second hand to hold the minute hand down. And then the minute hand had to be against the hour hand wheel, which is not normal to hold the hour hand wheel down. And then that stack holds everything together. But in order to do that, I had to use different gears for the hour and minute hand than came with this movement. So I had an extra movement. It also cost 25 francs. And I and I took some parts from it. And also from the extra movement, I took this, this black plate here because it, the, the, on this movement, it was silver. So I took the black one because I thought it added more contrast and looked more interesting. Okay, so that that was fun. It involves taking off these two plates and taking the popping the gears out and doing some other stuff. Um, and then in the back, because I had two different cases, um, Here's the other one. So this is the one I borrowed pieces from. You can see that um, that black plate is is chrome on this one. So the other thing about this watch is it has a terabyte of memory. Which is right here. And somehow also because of the extra case, um, I was able to, you can see the inside of the movement and you can see the 2472 insignia underneath the um, balance wheel. So because the d different cases and the one of these was a had a high hand movement because it was a one of them had a kind of pie pan dial. So I was able to get enough extra space to put the
put a, a micro SD card in here and it's just kind of stuck. It's double stick taped in there. So I think I can probably still use it. Um, So the cool thing about a terabyte is that's a lot of data storage. So here I put this on my desktop. You can see it has a 900 gigabyte still available and has some tests here. And I can't remember which one, 71 maybe, 79. Um, in terms of its, uh, uh, ability to in every respect really so 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 the thing is that's the uh, what if I view these by icons make the icons big so I did a ton of tests of this system this camera system and they're all inside my watch now. And the purpose of this ultimately is to show off these, there's an early one. <laughs> show off the electronic stuff that I design and also do kind of tutorials for that. But then in the watch, I'm going to put, it's going to be like my offsite onsite backup. Like I'll just fill it with all kinds of crazy stuff. And I, uh, I think I also did like, um, sorry. This was like a test where it's a, it's a password protected zip file. So you can do that too. So if somebody, if, if your watch falls into someone else's hands, you can, they have to have the password to get to the data. Anyway. I should put some case batteries on there before I close it, but I don't want to take too much time. So that's my favorite watch and it cost about $60 altogether, I would say. Oh, not including the SD card, which was a couple hundred. But how many watches, how many mechanical watches from the early 1960s have a terabyte of storage and can be accessed directly on your computer like that? Not many. That's why it's so cool. And I bet you're jealous. <laughs>